This is a presentation of the visual storyteller track by Robert J. McGee. What I first wanted to capture um, as far as the key elements of this presentation and the characters are the fact that these two characters have a modern day approach at the fight sequence that we're about to explore. However, the medieval time um, and environment is still something that's very present in the, the film itself. This helps the audience with the authenticity of the film, I think. And um, Gascony, France is a beautiful place. Um, I looked up some general information on it and chose a manor that had a lot of foliage and sprawling feel where we can take that first scene in a pre-dawn setting and, and take that calm and serenity and then burst into the action sequence itself. Um, these two knights, the first one being um, Marcel Gerard and the second one being uh, Comet d'Argan, are both two different people, obviously. The first knight is in his mid to late 30s and is a um, more rugged and uh, earthy type of a knight, whereas the second one is the valiant hero. The fight sequence, um, what I want to do is I want to be able to have the audience feel as though they're right there. Um, and, and the best way to do that um, is, is in the barn rooftop scene as they're making their way from the field. Um, I want to have a fly uh, wire camera capture the action of them actually going up the A-frame of the barn and then back down. Um, the lighting also will have a, a strong element in this, whereas it was pre-dawn at one point in time. You definitely want to have um, a, a sunrise or um, a daytime setting as we go into this part of the, the fight scene. Um, and as we, as we move on from there to the um, fenced enclosure scene, that scene I want it to be um, a transitioning point. Uh, we're moving away from the, the whole fast or the manor, and we're going to more of a, a cobbled um, barrier. I mean, a fence now is not like it was back then in 1625. So this is something I definitely wanted to um, showcase, and I want those geese to fly right at the camera and kind of blur the action for just a moment. Um, as the, the knights move on from the fenced enclosure, and they um, they see the hay cart um, sequence. The hay cart has to be transitioning towards the plank bridge. Um, the escape for the first night um, needs to be where he easily has access to the, the cart as it's moving along. But the other night has to jump and, and, and like the script says, in a dramatic sequence. So this is something that definitely needs to be set up to where the camera angle can pan and zoom and we have a wide angle shot. I mean, and the scene where the um, knights fall from the hay cart into the muddy creek, um, I definitely want the uh, lighting to be changed because we're, we're changing from um, an open area to a more wooded location. And this is important that we um, have the lighting aspect um, showcase the differences in the environment. And of course, the final blow, um, I chose a, a picture to show where the final blow is. It's got the audience uh, in, a, in a moment of suspense and the music, the lighting, and the visual effects should all showcase this because what happens is at the end, the twist is where you understand finally that this is a uh, training session between the student and teacher and the student has now uh, mastered what he's learning. So this is very important as well.